Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to play in my Life Crafted album. Uh, I'm going to make a little spread using the Food Love stamp set from Citrus Twist. I've also challenged myself a little bit today. Uh, I've been using a lot of pink lately and I love pink. You know I love pink. Um, but I just want to challenge myself to maybe step outside of that like go-to color palette that I use uh, and try something a little bit different. So you can see I have got an ombre, a rainbow. I don't know what you call it when there's this many colors. You can see I've pulled out a whole bunch of ink pads over on the right hand side there. Uh, and I'm gonna do some repeat stamping. So I'm gonna use a few of these tiny little food icons that are on the Food Love stamp set. I love them, they're so cute. I'm gonna cut out all of the faffing around that I did trying to get these six icons, only six, lined up straight on this block. Uh, it took far too long. Uh, I'm just using six. I've lined them up so that they're, they're basically a rectangle so that I can do this really quick repeat stamping. I'm not even gonna speed this up that much, guys, because it goes so quick. Watch how fast I go. I'm going to just start from the bottom up. I have made sure that when I did that first stamp, uh, I sort of offset the stamp block or with all my little stamps on it so that it's sort of off the edge on both the left hand side and the bottom. It just looks a bit more like a real pattern when things don't end at the edge of the page, when they kind of overhang that a little bit. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing. And all I'm going to do is work my way up. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of planning, I will say, so I don't use all of the colors that I've pulled out because uh, I get here to my third row of stamping. That's my third color of green. Yes, green. I know. I really challenged myself this week. Uh, and I decided to just skip. I'm going to need to skip a couple here so that I've got enough room uh, to carry on up the page with this. I'm going to say it's a rainbow. It's not really a, an ombre because there's more, more, than, uh, more than two or three colors there. Uh, and I've moved directly on to the yellow. Uh, I had kind of an in-between yellow green color but I prefer to make sure that I'm ending on these kind of peachy orangey colors. Um, I, I chose this color scheme based off my photos. Now I have got eight little two by two photos that I'm gonna pop into a page protector. They're all busy photos. There's lots of colors in them. But there was predominantly quite a lot of kind of orange, peachy colors and green. So hence my little color scheme here. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I got both the greens and the oranges in here. So I skipped out that kind of middle tone. It does make for quite a dramatic jump between the green and the yellow without that in-between stage, but um, I don't mind it so much. I'm gonna, you'll see, I'm gonna add a little title onto this slide so it kind of covers up that jump anyway. So that really is my stamped piece all done. Super easy, told you it was going to be quick. Uh, the only thing that I did uh, haven't mentioned is that when I'm stamping each row above I'm just moving that stamp set over one uh, so you can see like if you look at the ice creams they shift over one every time just stops that pattern becoming too repetitive. Now the rest of this page is going to come together super quickly because there is not a whole lot that I'm going to do to it. I have got my eight photos like I said and I started off by just kind of randomly placing them on here and what I decided to do was uh, kind of tone them from light to dark so lightest at the top and darkest at the bottom uh, it sort of echoes the rainbow the ombre on the other side uh, but really it just helps it be a little bit more visually pleasing since I do have that very dark color green on the left it kind of helps to balance out the page if the photos are darker at the bottom on the other side as well now I've got these little cardstock phrase strips that I really wanted to use, but again, I'm trying to limit myself here. I don't want to use any of the pink ones, and obviously they need to be phrases that sort of relate to the food photos, so uh, I'm just going to add three of them. I was hoping I could get three different colors, uh, but in the end I kind of got just two of that, I don't know, citrony yellow color and a green one down the bottom. Now, like I said, I'm going to stamp a kind of title piece over here. 
it's not going to be a whole lot of journaling or anything else on this layout so I'm going to stack and build a, a reasonably large title piece uh, using a whole bunch of different stamps from the Food Love set but I'm also going to add a word in here with these black foam alphas just to help all of those kind of random words tie together into one phrase. So the phrase I'm aiming for is yes to eating more good food. So I've used three different stamps. Uh, one of those stamps I have already uh, cut in half in a previous um, page here. Uh, so I do need to stack that one together again, but um, it is actually three stamps, not four. And I'm just going to do all of this onto some white cardstock, uh, and I'm going to stamp in black along with those black letters. Um, I'm going to use some Pink Fresh Detail Black ink, uh, and I go to stamp this one, and the very first stamp is a total loser. Uh, so instead of Instead of persisting with that, I just grabbed a fresh card and I'm going to start again, make sure I'm stamping the rest of these um, as, as perfectly as I can. You know me in stamping, I'm never that perfect, but I'm going to do the best I can. I decided that I would put the foam alphas down. Um, it was sort of, I, I debated doing that first or not. Sometimes it's hard to stamp if you've got something dimensional like these foam alphas there. Uh, I just need to bear in mind that they are there when I'm placing my stamps on the block so you can see I, I place the stamp more a little bit towards the top so it's not going to bump into that foam uh, too too much it's just something to bear in mind when you're adding extras to a stamp title like this where you're going to be able to stamp around them but I felt it was more important to be able to know where to stamp the next lot of stamps and I, I had to have the, the spacing right so I just put them down it worked out fine. Uh, I changed the placement from where I had kind of planned it and I didn't love the result. I've got this big gap beside more which I don't really love so I'm gonna chop up some stamps again. There was a little knife and fork spoon icon. Um, it's a slightly different icon sort of style to the ones that I've already used so I wasn't too sad about chopping this one up. Uh, I just didn't think that I was going to be able to like partially ink them cleanly enough to get them in the right place and it was much much easier to, to do that with them separate like that. So I'm just filling in those little gaps. I'm going to add the knife, the fork and the spoon um, and then I decided to go ahead and just add the coffee cup back into the top to fill in the last little kind of gap that I've got here plus it kind of kind of accidentally have tied in that icon page to the title which I hadn't really anticipated doing so again that was more luck than good planning. What I want to do though is um, mount to this white card uh, with some sort of colored cardstock behind it because the stamped pattern is on white cardstock as well so I just kind of lose the edge of that card in there more than I really wanted to. I've grabbed out this uh, Sherbet cardstock booklet thing from scrapbook.com. There's a few colors in here, but you can see the ones I use the most, the pink and the teals. So luckily there are these other colors in here that work perfectly, the greens and the yellows. In the end, I decided to go with yellow, this lovely dark bright yellow. I'm just going to stitch around those bits, just to add a little bit of texture into here. And then I can go ahead and adhere that down. And like I said, I'm going to adhere that kind of over that real jumpy gap between the yellow and the green. It just kind of softens that. You don't see it as much. Uh, and then I trimmed off the edge of that. Now I wasn't really going to embellish this page too much more but I decided it needed a little bit of something uh, so I went and dug into my enamel dot stash. These are some enamel dots from Citrus Twist. Uh, there's more than one pack in here. I've just kind of placed the dots onto one sheet so uh, for ease of storage. So they come from a couple of different packs but there were some of those similar colors in there, the yellows and um, I'm using teal but I'm calling it green so I'm going to add a couple of little dots, uh, three groups, uh, two groups of three sorry, around that title card and then I'm just going to add a few onto the right hand photo pages as well again to a little bit more consistency to tie those two pages together otherwise there wasn't really any sort of combining element uh, and just adding those few little dots I feel gives it just that little pop of color that it needs on that side and ties the whole thing together. 
this is a super simple page, but I do love that repeat stamping, uh, the ombre, and really it wasn't that much of a challenge not to use pink. Sometimes you just need to push yourself to uh, step away from your go-tos. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.